Hey guys, it's Emma and we're back with another review. All right, I'm jumping straight into this. Throne of Glass, Sarah J Maas, and this is a series. You can see on the back there's quite a few books. This is another series. So someone recommended this to me. I got the first book, had it sitting on my shelf for a long time, picked it up, finished it in two days. Yesterday I went out and bought the next two books and I started reading the second one and I finished it in seven hours. Now these are not super short books. This one's 300, the next one's 400, the next one's 500. They just keep getting bigger. So if that says anything about how I could not put these books down, and yes, I am a fast reader, I love reading, but still I could not put the first two books I finished in three days altogether. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> I just got on a tangent, but so, Throne of Glass, fantasy novel, I'd say it's borderline YA, so a little bit more advanced than normal YA, but still in there. And badass female lead, but there you also get to see some of the other perspectives. It's third person omniscient, I believe. So you get to see some of the other characters too, which I enjoy. I like always getting a round picture and seeing how other people feel about people in the books. That's interesting. But the main character, well, she goes by a lot of names. Um, Selena? I think. Selena. <laughs> That's one of the things about reading. I think I just give the characters my own names. But it's Selena Sardafian. So she's super badass. She's an assassin. She just got out of prison and is joining this competition to become the king's champion. Well, if you even start reading this book, you're just gonna know that the king is a pretty bad guy and you hate him. And after I've just read the second book too, still the same feelings, like nothing's really changed, but you don't really get to know the king very well, at least not yet. So it's interesting. There is magic involved, there is fighting involved, there's a little bit of love mixed in there, sprinkled in, and then like supernatural kind of, like fey, magic, portals, creepy demon things, all that's all mixed in. So if you love that type of fantasy world already, just pick it up. Sarah J Moss, great writer book's so thrilling it really throws you in there so there's no just subtle start you're just like whoa here I am so if you like books that start off like that it is not a slow start it is a fun start and if, if you've watched any of my other book review videos you'll know that I love a main character that is sarcastic that is rude that is stuck up but has this like inner feelings that they're also conflicting with oh I love it I just eat it up it's so interesting and fun especially because you're dealing with your own feelings and hardships but when you don't tell anyone, it's it's pretty realistic because that's how the real world is. You don't tell all of your secrets to everyone. And there's a lot of problems that come with that. A lot of problems that could be solved if some secrets were just told. Okay, what are we? I finished the second book and I'm in a bit of an angry place right now. Good angry, not bad angry. Not like, not like a favorite character has died. Like angry like, damn, I need to read the next one right now, but I have homework to do. That's the angry I'm at, okay? Um... I'm going to be reviewing this whole series because I already read the first two books and I can't stop. That's just how it goes. If you've ever had a series that you just instantly jumped into and then just couldn't stop, that's what this is. Some of the other series that I've read, I had to push myself past the first book and then they got good. The first book is amazing. The second book blows you out of the water. The third book, from what I've heard, ah! So, a word of advice is make sure you have all of the books because you're not going to read just one. And it really leaves you hanging, like, oh, now what? And I would not say that these are predictable. I mean, I guess I could assume the plot that happened in Throne of Glass, but there are a lot of details that are still left uncovered and that will be uncovered throughout the series. So I like that the, the writer has good pacing. I wasn't given everything right off the bat and the main characters are not given everything right off the bat. Now I'm figuring out more things. So if you like super fast action, but kind of slow, main story arc, that's kind of what this is. So please pick up Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss and read all of them because I, it's been three days. I read the first two. I'm starting the third one today. Who knows how far I will get. Also, all the books that I have purchased so far have been $12. $12 for 300, 400, 500 pages. That is pretty reasonable. So if you want a cheap YA fantasy read that's got a badass female lead, and then some other fun people sprinkled in there. There's actually two pretty badass female characters. So, pick it up and tell me what you think in the comments below. See ya!